Hello, boys and girls. How are you? Hello, all. The bounce is on a touch of red. Eh? Red is for what blood? <laughs> <laughs> blood system. <Yeah. laughs> That's correct. <laughs> and we should have done. To, although, I, let me tell you, there's nothing I hate more than the touch of red. <laughs> what well, I hate is on Valentine's Day. Other days, yes, I'm like, exactly. Why, so a touch of, we should have done it. We should have seen. What do you think of it? You know how uh, you don't normally have foresight, uh, and that's always my issue. Uh, hey, hello, all. What have you guys been doing? We haven't asked how everyone is in a long time. Should we ask our guest out there? Sure. Oh, hi, you guys. <laughs> Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Inny. Do I need to say more? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Inny Dimokoji. I'm an actress. I play Sarah in Blood Sisters. Me. Go ahead. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Timmy Dio Macondrola, and I'm a producer, well, producer of Blood Sisters. Woo, woo. Hi, I'm Nancy Isime, and I play Kemi in Blood Sisters. Woo. I feel like what happened when just told us you guys don't, no, don't clap. <laughs> and the thing is, I say insightful things the entire time. Nobody claps. <laughs> I mean, we'll address it at a later date. Hi, guys. I know you're enjoying this episode of I Said What I Said, but guess what would be nicer? Good governors. So please make sure you get your PVCs, register, pick them up, and then, you know, watch Blood Sisters. But yes, thank you very much. Back to the episode. <laughs> but yeah, what's everybody been up to? How have you guys been? Um, I mean, I'm getting married. <laughs> so I'm very uh, annoying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like ready? Is everything ready? I'm ready. So- <laughs> Um, please do. <laughs> Whoa, good. Uh, I'm good. good. Sorry, I'm good. Um, you know, just what have you been doing? What have you been getting up? I to mean, now? my daily life includes my two babies, yeah. and working. But that's that's about it. Yeah, yeah. How about yeah. You, Nothing much. Just you know. Uh, blood sister in the past few days. <laughs> I didn't like yeah. the way you introduced them. So say, tell me, let's say I was in it. Please ask me what I've been to. So, um, hi, lovely Gina. You know, what have you been up to this week? Nothing. Just um, starring in the number one series in about twenty countries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not twenty. Not thirty. Oh, oh, no, 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 I don't get. Please. <laughs> That's what we like. Humble, and no, no, we don't do that. We've been chilling, here. taking oh, care of kids, getting, getting married, relaxing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just, I'm just normal. <laughs> Please, we hit that. <laughs> okay. Like, talk your shit here. That's what yeah, we Yeah, that's okay. incredible. <laughs> anyway. But so, well done, guys. Thank well, thank very, you. very well done. What were you guys expecting? I mean, I knew it was something great. Like, I, I think I've only had like three auditions just where from the sides alone, I'm mm. like, Jesus Christ, I really want this one. Mm. And this mm. is one of the moments I had that. And I I remember reading for Sarah, I had sent in a tape and I'm like, my gosh, what is this? And then I got sides for Timmy. And I'm yeah. like, what is this? <laughs> not, I'm like, what is this? I thought Sarah was good. Like, who is this? And then I got sides for Kemi because at some point by the physical audition, they wanted me to read for all three characters. Yeah. And I'm like, Jesus, I really want it. Mm-hmm. And I remember um, I was supposed to travel on the day when I came for the physical auditions. Mm-hmm. And I, I moved my trip because I'm like, nah, I'm going to stay. And, I'm, and then reading the full script, I'm like, my God. So at every level, I'm like, it seems like the stars are going to align for this one. Because yeah. reading the full script, it was like, whoa. And then being on set, the energy was just different. Like it was mm-hmm. clear that this was going to be something special. But then you just never know how people receive yeah. it. You mm. really never know the output because at the end of the day, you're just behind the camera doing your best. But yeah, it's been it's been a wild ride. Mm. Yeah, it has. Um, I mean, when, when I first, I mean, when Blood Sisters became what it was, like when, you know, during the whole development of mm-hmm. the scripts and all of that, um, we knew it was going to be big, of course, but as Ini said, you never know when you drop something, especially in this environment or in the Nigerian environment or even globally it or whatever. It can come out. It can come out and, you know, people are going to be like, what's that? You know, so yeah, it's been crazy, you know, to get the kind of feedback that we've been getting from the show. It's It's been really nice. Yeah. Nancy? You know, of course, Um, you know, as creatives, you know, if you remember the video of myself and Ini at the premiere mm-hmm. where Ini was literally bawling. <laughs> you know, before, before Ini had seen it, we had seen it. So we already yeah. gone through our moments, but that was the first time for Ini. And yeah. as soon as, the, in fact, they didn't even record that part. As soon as the movie ended, like Ini was like, <gasps> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Okay. She's going to calm down when she needs stuff. She's like, ah! <laughs> And then she stood up and she was like, ah! <laughs> And so, and then I got emotional too because then I just looked at her crying and I could tell she was crying from her heart because as creative as Nigerian actors, sometimes you read something on paper when you get on set to something yeah. completely different. Yeah. Mm. But we came on set and it was exactly what was mm. in paper. Mm. And then sometimes everything that's in paper, you finish though, it's now time for you to watch the film and you're just and like, now hey, it's not yeah. And like, then, who is this editor? The, the, <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing about like film, like it's such a collaborative <laughs> process that even if you die there like even if you give your heart and soul yeah. it can literally end up being a flop even when you watch it like wow and it's very heartbreaking so for yeah. me ah, and then I, I don't know like I really really love film like I really mm. love this and to be able to watch and really feel like we're really able to get the audience to believe what we're trying yeah. to do. It's, it doesn't happen very often. No, it doesn't. True. For us True. here, at least. I love that. I love that. This episode is brought to you by Flutterwave, who along with WizKid have launched Send, a new way to send money to people who matter to you everywhere. You can send and receive money from people in the US, the UK, the EU, South Africa, Ghana, Kenya, and lots more countries. You can receive money on Send using your Bata account, mobile money, or your bank account. It really just depends on your location. To find out more, visit send.flutterwave.com to start sending and receive money across 29 countries. Okay, guys, back to the episode. Okay, well, we're going to get back into um, a blood system. But first, let's address some of the blood problems <laughs> that um, our, our guests. So every week, we our guests send us in their issues and there's mm. so many. Uh, problems and we just yeah. try and advise them as badly as possible mm. um, because why should you send in your problems to this podcast <laughs> you know? so in terms of your level of focus it's low so go ahead Okay, so actually before that please Michael Jackson oh, this is our fashion king this is our ah, oh, fashion killer uh, 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 please go ahead to Michael Look, Jackson did you guys see that Michael Jackson was you know he snuck into MVC or then he was wearing some kind of orange he looked like a fish <laughs> <laughs> you get, like he had like flicks Excuse me. Who let you backstage? Wait, how did you get? That's um, what I'm saying. Who let you, you backstage? Who let you backstage? Who are you wearing today? To be fair, today you look like a person, and yeah. that's that's really saying a lot. That's yeah. really really saying. Where a lot. are we? Yeah. Yeah. Because he knew, because he knew <laughs> you guys are coming. No, I think because you guys are coming because we've seen a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> No, this, guy, this guy comes to experiment in, yeah. in, you know when someone is into fashion ah, okay. he's into it too he's really into it <laughs> anyway congrats well done this episode of the I Said What I Said podcast is brought to you by Star Adler Star Adler is a refreshing blend of Star Lager beer and natural fruit juice flavors it contains only 2% alcohol and so it's a go-between for people who want a little bit more excitement than just you know regular schmegla beer Star Adler is available in two flavors, citrus, which they came in, I love, a blend of orange and lemon fruits, and red fruits, a blend of citrus with strawberry and cranberry fruits. Um, Michael Jackson is a fan of that. They are available in 45 CL bottles and a new sexy 33 CL sleeve can. All right, guys, back to the episode. Someone called, I just so you know how the level of chaos in this person's problem. Mm -hmm. Their name is Michael Jackson Singlet. <laughs> Oh, so that's another thing. <laughs> that's another thing. He doesn't Stop normally wear shoes. He's not wearing a singlet. He's normally he wearing singlet. singlet. Now, that's that's no, no, he's normally <laughs> wearing like, like, like singlet, <laughs> singlet. So she says, hi guys, I'm such a huge fan and you ladies are amazing. Now my problem, my clinical tutor's bald head is calling my name. <laughs> Every time I see his shiny head, I'm tempted to kiss it. But I have to finish medical school so I can't act crazy. Or can I? How do I get over this urge? <laughs> this website <is> can I? <laughs> <laughs> or can I? <laughs> His uh, 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 what is inside? Uh? The head, the head of the man. The head is shiny, 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 head. shiny bald head. She wants to be very specific. Uh, you know, parents really suffer a lot <laughs> because you're just thinking, you know, let me do everything I can. Send this girl to school. She'll be a doctor. Meanwhile, look how she's doing in her clinical. Like, no, she should kiss his head now. Let's see. Mm -hmm. she should not when kiss they expel her. <laughs> 
Me, oh, I'd say take the risk. Ah, <laughs> Nancy, Nancy, head. Nancy who she has not graduated. How many doctors do you say graduate? Ah, leave it and go and start business. <laughs> <laughs> take the risk. Yeah. Yes, be an entrepreneur. Leave that school. <laughs> the heck out Sorry. of your head. Dress it very well. Ex- See, even me, I didn't say that. <laughs> That's how you know that this advice Romantic. is. <laughs> you are attracted to what? <laughs> to our clinical. Uh, yeah, shiny bald head. head. Yeah, yeah. If I were you, she's not well, bald guys though. I mean, I get it, but not my teacher. <laughs> oh, I do, crap. I do get no the bald teacher, head thing. It could be a young. I promise you. I promise you. I promise I promise you, you she's she's saying this at the clinic. Uh, this man doesn't sound like does not coming across as a young. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Coming across as a young. To be fair, we never know. But don't kiss anybody's head <laughs> without their consent. <laughs> <laughs> I get consent. <laughs> oh, I kiss your sister, uh, your lecturer's head, and you. First of all, you won't graduate. So that's, that's like I feel like that has to be top of mind. What I think is, she let her graduate first. Oh, yeah. She can go back. She can mm-hmm. go back and approach the matter. After, like uh, when she does convocation, just mm-hmm. kiss his head. She said, "What well, on the last day? Years. Yeah. What if she, what if she, she has like she four years to wait go. now? Five, no, she does, she, wait. does she or does she not want to graduate? That's the main That's issue. Like, That's if she doesn't mind not graduating, not graduating I think she should go ahead. Just a Feel little kiss. One of them, one of them will be a doctor now inside the house. Eh, mad. One of them, not her. No, no. No, she she won't have any any certificate. Like Nancy said, she'll be doing business. <laughs> she should be selling medical equipment <laughs> or her growth bound. <laughs> we need more inspiring stories so that next when she blows, we should be like yeah. so I you know, I think that if you don't want to graduate, then you can pursue his hate. This yes, is it. <laughs> but anyway, back to Blur Sisters. Now, before we get to your characters, I want to just <coughs> briefly touch on some other characters. There are two people that I really want to mm-hmm. discuss now. Now, Ketensha's character. <laughs> <laughs> when you were creating her, did you intend for her to be a principality? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know, like when you're young and then there's like cartoons where like the devil comes and then your mom will just say, Oh, don't look. That's how I felt when I was watching her. <laughs> Because the only two things she knows are wickedness and high neck. <laughs> Anything <laughs> apart from high neck line and wickedness, yeah. she was not into. I just said, ah! a demon. No, a demonic spirit. No, she, she was inspired you know by the demonic spirit. character activity. has no single redeeming quality. <laughs> <laughs> See, at the end, I, I shouted to me, shoot her! <laughs> she kill this babe! Forget all these other things that I do. Kill her! That's the first time I've ever I said, just kill her first. <laughs> Tell yeah, everybody will now say, oh my god, oh my god, so sorry. Shoot her first. <laughs> I said, forget this foolish man. Shoot this girl. Shoot her. <laughs> so that was really like something that I was just, every time I saw her on screen, I just thought, ah, she so don't even have any joy. <laughs> Just threw out as if from the first scene, her face was uh-huh. hard, strong. Hard. When she wear gilly, we weak. That's what I'm saying. My big mommy. Yeah. <laughs> saying, Nancy, please now, please. No joy, zero that's joy. Number one, that's her. Number two, Kenny. <laughs> oh, oh, Kenny. I'll oh, oh, do my no, Kenny. No, 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 no. Do do me. Why you people do to Kenny? Oh, do <laughs> it was not good. Oh, so good. She's life. Is it? Yes. Okay, well, what's the lesson there? He died for love. If for you love. fall in love like a fool, <laughs> you also die like a fool. Yes. I said that, that was the, that was what to do. You know what Kenny's story is? You know what your parents say so if everybody's jumping. You too, you jump, jump, jump. That's yes. Kenny. Yes. <laughs> Because of Maloma. And the thing is, he just looked like someone who lacked vim throughout the whole. Every time I saw him, I said, Yeah, a dead guy, and that's a problem. A dead guy. If you're not a dead guy, they can't be moving to you like this. Uh, if that Uncle B came with that guy just slit his throat like that, you first pause, okay? Is this a good idea? I just see Kenny, dead guy. It's my father. No, I would <laughs> No, it really pained me a lot. Oh, no, my no, own no, way. No, no. Every him. time he was just looking, just, uh, I said, Kenny, you yeah, yeah, sure. Kenny, wake up. <laughs> 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 Mr. and Mrs. JJ Louie, every year they see John do, 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 do. So, excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. There are people dying <laughs> in, this, in this place. We just look at each other. Nollywood, <laughs> 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 what, what's going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah, the, but do you know the thing? Is that realistic? Not because of the actor, because his character is incredibly irritating. <laughs> like his character. So I was like, I see why he wants to sleep with her. Her character is very, you know, she's a boss. Full right? of him. Will that character be attracted to an irritating 
man like that. She's you can't do anything. She's, she's attached to his she's family, to his and, family and, and, and the power that, that he has. Fair enough. Has fair enough. Has sure. That she can be connected yeah. to. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate that. Another character that I really have to ask you about, Blade Assassin is on me. <laughs> You're telling, me that in his son his son. No. You're telling me that somebody who had time to remove their coral beads beat him. <laughs> <laughs> somebody in a in stiff a bad uh, in stiff a show. Somebody assassin. in stiff a show came beat him up. <laughs> you know, what do you think that made me laugh? The way he entered. I'm like, has this guy never crashed the party before? <laughs> Brother assassin, you've never you something. been somewhere you're not supposed you to know, be. You know, once I saw him looking at the camera, I said, oh. <laughs> First to die in film. <laughs> what, I mean, said, what kind of training did this man, what kind of training did this man receive? You're just looking around in the wedding. No. <laughs> you know, oh. with, with, I thought you could say wedding with blazer. <laughs> I said, now this man is going to die. <laughs> no, it was. That's why I knew why I know Luke. Because I know there's one bouncer. If I see him at every wedding, if he was at that wedding, he say, hey, come here. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, excuse me, come here. Invite, please. As in, <laughs> <laughs> like, you're you lucky that James is not at this no, event. No. I was very upset. I said, Blade, they beat you. His cap did not remove it. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, what sort of criminal are you? Anyway, so tell me, how how was it like when you guys were, were guessing the characters and doing the story, how is it like saying, okay, I'm going to now enter this person and like become become them? Because now you're thinking, because you now have to be Because somebody. I am a method actress. Oh, <laughs> I hate that word. I'm, I'm a method <laughs> actress. I go into my character. Huh? You become. Yeah, I become. <laughs> when, have you acted, when have you acted anything? Don't forget me. My issue with you really is you think you know me. When have you acted? You don't know about my Just life. Just studied what geopolitics or some <laughs> geography is for. You don't know about my life. I'm speaking to my fellow thespians. <laughs> <laughs> you are when did you a lay woman. Ever before. You know, we are on the stage. I'm sure it's all this nativity play that they are doing. <laughs> so ladies, please... Um, I am a uh, method actress. I don't. Yeah. I want to know a bit more about your uh, your method, method acting. acting. Yes. Yeah, your style uh, of getting right. into character. Um, I think for me, uh, when I find like first of all, I so, need the mic. Oh, sorry, I have to come really close. <laughs> um, I remember reading the script and being so excited. I read really slow, by the way, but this one I couldn't sleep. And then after like the excitement wore off, it dawned on me like how much work I had to do with Sarah, and. For me, like as an actor, I was in a very interesting place. So I'd done a couple of years before that, I'd done um, this show and it was a very, very dramatic like character. And it, it was one of those ones where like I literally had an epiphany as an actor and I locked a door that I didn't even know existed. And truly, like it was the first time in my life where I realized, that, you know, when how um this guy that did Joker died mm-hmm. yeah, and how they said he went too deep. That's the first time I believed it. And so it was a good thing, but it was a very scary thing. But what happened is the show got cancelled. Mm. And I cried. It was worse than any breakup I'd ever had. Like, I didn't get over that thing for a year. And I literally blocked myself. And I remember telling myself, like, I will never go this far mm. for a role anymore. Because it just seemed like there was no point. Like, what was the point? Why did I put myself through all of that if no one got to see? Like, I didn't put anything mm. interesting into the world. Like, all that pain and just all that mental thought. That was the first time. You know when they say, how do you get out of crack? That's the first time. My mom was worried. Like, it took a minute. So... I was in this space where I'm like, you know what, nah, I need to like find other tools, get from the surface. But then I read the script and I'm like, Shh, can you swear on the show? Yes, of course. Of like, course. We do that here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Like, this is one of the ones where I can't even hide. Like, I'm going to have to go there. Mm-hmm. So it was very scary for me. Um, I, which is why I really cried that day because I'm like, my God, okay, all of that work was worth it. Because I mean, apart from like all the physicalities, that was exciting, but it was, mm-hmm. but for me, the the big thing with Sarah was just how, just her emotional and mental state. She was mm-hmm. very broken. Yeah. And to be able to really, because I don't know, I, I'm not one of those actors. I can't, you know how people, some people have like control over their, te- like literally you can say cry. And yeah. They literally do it there. But for me, like if it doesn't come from deep down, um, it's just not going to happen in that take. So I I had to I, I had to do a lot of like, you know, I had to be very vulnerable as any, but then I really had to get myself to a stage where I really understood. Cause you are very broken, right? To like to be to allow yourself get hit by someone you love and you make excuse for that for so long, or excuses for the person, and then you stay. Like that's a broken person. Mm-hmm. And I had to start to break her from like the beginning of time. Mm-hmm. So like I had to create like 
a backstory for her and start to chip away her self-confidence up until the point where we meet and then you really meet this person that is so broken yeah. and mm. you believe it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, deep. That's similar. Similar to, <laughs> similar to me. It's not the method you mean, but this is not a, yeah, it's not about method me. So I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to steal the show. So <laughs> Nancy, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, for me and Kemi, um, I said this in my previous uh, interview with Netflix, I had to tune into my alpha female side. Mm. And that's a side that is very, it's in me, you know. So I just had to completely tune into her. And that's what I like about the two characters, the two friends. is someone who is completely, you know, very calm, very what do I do from a broken place, basically. And that's yeah. what narcissists do to you as women. They yeah. first of all take rip off every single self-esteem that you have mm. and just leave you open. Yeah. And that was where Sarah was. She was at a point where she was vulnerable. She had been broken down to the barest minimum to even think of marrying this yeah. man. Um, until she opened up to me and I, I saved her somehow, you know, <laughs> and then got two of us into trouble, which now <laughs> yeah. went from the first episode to the end of the film, of, of the series. Um, so... Yes, I, I did have to do some internal work, but I also had to work with um, our amazing directors, B. Bandele and Kenneth Kiang, who just completely had their mood board, had an idea of the characters, um, how it was even written, our characters were written in the scripts, especially Kemi. People are even questioning Kemi and say, ah, we need to know your backstory. Yes, mm-hmm. of course, she has a backstory, um, which if, if there's a season two, you might yeah. see a bit of it play. I don't know. But I had that backstory. And people like, ah, why, does she, why is she so comfortable? Kimmy, why is she? The real mm-hmm. Kemi had absolutely, would have wanted us to be caught <laughs> from the day we yeah. killed it. Because she's just like, let's get this done. I'm out. Let's do it. Where? Who? Why? You know? And you can tell from her boyfriend, Ibrahim, that this girl, this girl, what have you been doing? You are this Ibrahim. What have you guys been up to? You know? You know? So... But then I'll never forget Kenneth, myself and Ini, when we had our first screen test, I'd play it that way. And I remember Ini was so into herself after it. I could tell she was on her inner head, mm. just like relieving the scene and just feeling like, oh, it's just something about it. And then we went to speak to Kenneth and Kenneth was like, we need empathy mm. for the characters. And he was like, yes, I've been thinking about how to put it. We need people to feel sorry for the characters. Yeah. We want people to be on your side to the very end. Mm-hmm, and that's mm-hmm. what the whole world is about. They're yeah. literally on Kemi and Sarah. Just a few psychopaths that are like, eh, but... She killed somebody now. <laughs> somebody <laughs> wrote to me. I you have at least spent six months in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know that I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> if you don't get to kill somebody, what do you mean? 